What's up, everybody? Welcome back to our weekly challenge. We are on day four, which is Thursday, boards seven and eight. We're going to pass our seven count right here from the very beginning and see where we end up. Ooh, look at this one. One spade, one no trump, pass to you. Make your call, folks. What would you do in this situation? One thing we have to recognize, that is 15 to 18 balance. At least it should be. It's one point higher on the high end of that. What we should recognize here is we have a very maximum pass. <laughs> we have a seven count. Uh, eight if you evaluate everything, but really we're, we're adding everything just to get to eight. So we don't have an invitational hand. We don't have a major suit. And we certainly don't want to transfer to a minor suit when one no trump could very well be our best contract here. So here, we're just going to sit back and hopefully play one no trump. And now when they balance with two diamonds well we certainly don't want to let that happen so we're just going to double well sorry we can't double that looks like it's going to be for penalty uh the question is do we bid uh which we might want to here we might want to bid three clubs we could also bid two no trump and unfortunately that would be invitational but we did pass maybe partner will just take this as a normal spot good okay so we bought two no here uh recognize we could have tried to bid clubs and that looks like it might have been okay as well um but here we have some chances here if things are going well. So we're going to try to win this in dummy. We can't necessarily because we want to take a club finesse. And here we are in a little bit of trouble because we can see that they've set up their diamonds already. Um, luckily, we're only in two, so maybe we can get out with our lives if things are going well for us. We're going to take a club finesse. Hopefully, that's King Jack tight over there. It's not. Now we're going to see some diamond tricks come. Maybe they block diamonds, but if they did, they still probably have the ace of hearts over there. Uh, here we're going to pitch hearts from this side. And they have one heart left, or excuse me, one diamond left over there. And they also have the ace of hearts, unfortunately. So it looks like we might be cooked. And we are cooked now because we, we had to keep a heart in this hand, unfortunately. All right, guys. So we're going to take the king of spades. We're going to pitch a heart. We're going to take all of our clubs. And then we're going to surrender a trick to them that they could have always have taken themselves, folks. It's uh, it's not like uh, playing correctly would have led to this spade. If we pitched a heart from dummy, they would have been able to cash at least one or more heart tricks there. And we could not let that happen. So here, minus 100. I don't love it. In fact, I want to go back and bid three clubs, obviously, with this one. We did have a nine card club fit, but it's super difficult to understand what's right here. And here we're just trying to buy a plus score. Um, passing diamonds didn't seem to be right because West is certainly advertising a whole bunch of extra shape on this sort of auction. And East is taking a clear preference for diamonds, so it looks like they found a good fit there. Um, and diamonds would you know, produce one diamond loser, one heart loser, and a club and two spades. So I guess they would make two, which means minus 100 is pretty much a chop for them. Uh, however, it looks like um ah, no, it doesn't look we could really do anything on this board if they get off to the right lead if they don't lead a diamond it's amazing right but even if they lead anything and get to win a trick we're in a whole bunch of trouble here because we just have to let them in right in there destined for down one all right uh i think i saw some interesting shape before i switched over Ooh, look at this wow one diamond pass one heart this is your hand interesting stuff here let's take a look at what two diamonds is going to be that's going to be natural what's two hearts going to be that's also going to be natural interesting i would usually think two diamonds would be um uh two diamonds would just be michael's here uh kind of showing the other two suits uh two no trump would be this and let's see 15 plus total points i don't have that much but i have a heck of a lot of extra shape um i don't want to do that though i mean I'd love to be able to show both of my suits at the same time, but I'm also very comfortable just bidding spades naturally. Maybe we find a fit, and if we don't, maybe we give it something at this level. This is kind of gross here. They've now bid to four hearts by the time he gets back to us. Now I kind of retroactively want to go back and bid to no trump, just so partner has the information. This is such a weird spot because we could bid four spades and just get ripped and go for a bunch. And when I say ripped, I mean doubled for penalty. We could bid five clubs, but now we might have missed the spade contract here. So at this point, um, I mean, it's a gamble either way. I would love to see the vulnerability slightly different. If East-West were vulnerable and we weren't, I still don't think I would be wanting to bid with this hand, but it would be more likely a win in these situations. When we're both not vulnerable, uh, it's a lot more risk for us. And that's why I'm just going to let it go. Uh, and it could clearly be wrong, right? But here, I'm just going to let it go and make a normal spade lead. 
And let's see if partner can get back to us. Ooh. So here, this is a fun spot. In a normal situation, we would know this is a doubleton and partner would realize we have a good count in this as well. So we would wanna give suit preference for partner. Um, I want a higher ranking suit lead. I want diamonds lead, right? So I'm gonna play the highest spade I have to try to convey that to partner. They get it wrong, obviously. So now I win the ace and now I tell them again, lead a higher one. And even though they're gonna erupt this, I'm trying to get a diamond lead. Partner is failing us on this one again, unfortunately. And now it looks like they're just gonna roll this. Really brutal. Notice that now, now here comes the rough, but guess what? We're out of trumps. Ooh, that's too bad. Maybe we get an extra trick as a result. Doesn't look like it on this one, unfortunately. And we just hate the fact that they're gonna make this when they could have gone down if partner just recognizes the correct signal that we had there. Unfortunate circumstance. We cannot do any better now upsetting upsetting so let me take you through that again and this is just something you can use to communicate some extra information as you're playing these hands now suit preference is super important and it's going to happen when one when we both know that a suit currently being led is not going to be returned so let me tell you what i mean it goes spade spade and here's the point where we should know their partner's probably not gonna be returning a spade because they know we bid them. And if they had a third one, they kind of can see the result. So here we both kind of know that spades doesn't have a future just based on the auction we've heard. So here, the card I play will tell my partner which of the remaining suits we prefer. This 10 of spades was pretty clearly saying that we want a diamond, right? When we are talking suit preference, we are taking away the suit that's being led. We're also totally ignoring the trump suit. I have two suits left, diamonds and clubs. I want the higher of those suits returned, so I'm playing the 10 of spades to tell my partner that's the suit I want and recognize that's the only way we're beating it, right? They have to lead a diamond at this point here. I'm gonna play the next card and watch. That's the only way we're beating it. We told our partner what to do and they still get it wrong, folks unfortunate because now if it goes diamond we rough cash the ace of clubs hand is over unfortunately our partner just betrays us by leading a club now and now we have no way to get that rough back unfortunately so here really unfortunate circumstance and honestly we need to teach the robot how to defend we're having some tough times and contracts where we should be beating that we're just not doing so uh wow interesting hand take a look crazy uh, here, b before I decide what to do, I'm gonna see if my partner could have an opening hand where I could make a slam opposite. And and here's here's what I wanna picture. Let's picture four small spades. The, I don't know, the king of hearts, that's three points. The king queen of uh, clubs, that's eight points. And the ace of diamonds, that's 12, that's a lot of points. Right, that's a lot of points to expect from a past hand. Let's see something else. Maybe, I don't know, how about the ace of diamonds, club shortness, and the ace king of hearts. Now they probably would have opened that as well. So here, I'm gonna be a little weird, and I know we're in a weird spot, and I don't have a ton of decisions in this. I'm just gonna bid four spades. And I'm gonna hope that I'm either preempting my opponents out of something, or I'm just hoping I get to a reasonable game and get to take my tricks. And here, uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> Let's take a look. King of Diamonds. Okay, good. Set up our suit there. Let's go. And they're go Oh, wow. Unbelievable that they're doing this for us. We'll take it. All right. So now they've led the Queen of Spades. That's probably shortness, I would guess. Yeah, there it is. King. Uh, we start with eight. So we're going to draw a couple more. And here, it's nice to see that they're pitching some clubs over there. We hope that we see the jack at some point. It's going to make it super easy for us here. We have seen the nine. And we'll play the ten, and boom. There's our contract. We'll take the rest. We'll try to cash a diamond, and we'll rough that sucker. In your face, people. <laughs> All right, guys. That is board nine, and that is a win for us right here. And that is ten tricks plus 420. Excuse me, board eight. Board eight. <laughs> Uh, sorry, that was board nine. Sorry, we, we finished board eight with minus 420. We finished board nine with plus 420. We have one to go. 
and it looks like it's going to be pretty ugly for us but here uh, this is a cool spot where we just kind of got to preempt them away from the auction uh, if they get into the auction I don't think they have a safe landing spot because their heart fit isn't uh, as good as we might have expected it to be but if we flip those diamonds and hearts together for their their holdings maybe they get in there if we only open one spade so here we've parked them out and gotten, our, gotten ourselves to a nice game to make and we'll see what we can do on this last board folks